Hey folks, Dr. Brad Semp here, AKA The Busyness Doctor. I'd like to welcome you to The Busyness TV Show on busyness.com. This is the show dedicated to helping you to get out of busyness and get down to business. Now today's show is brought to us by Extreme Business Makeovers. This is an awesome event put on by Tom Scott, a master marketer and somebody who I speak to later on in the show. Join us in two weeks in Orlando, Florida, April 29th, 30th, and May 1st, or the following years in April, whenever you watch this video, come join us at Extreme Business Makeovers in Orlando. I'll be there, I'd love to speak with you. In today's episode, I cover Jamie Oliver's Food Revolution, and how I see his show is one of the best things going today, and how it plays right into the hands of bucking the system. And then, as I mentioned, we're going to interview master marketer and event organizer Tom Scott. And I'll wrap up with a Productivity Sucks episode on Remember the Milk. It's now time for our Buck the System segment. This is a segment in which we take a look at real life examples where people buck the system. They design their actions differently to produce different results. And today I'd like to talk about one of my favorite TV shows. I don't watch a lot of TV, but this is one that I don't miss. This is season two of Jamie Oliver's Food Revolution. Now, season one, he was in, I think it was West Virginia. And because of that show, to this day, none of my children will eat chicken nuggets unless they're made by my wife or I, so homemade. Now, after just the first episode of season two, my children will not eat hamburgers. Actually, they... They were kind of turned off after season one, but they will not eat hamburgers, say from McDonald's or Burger King or anything like that, only again at home. It's powerful, powerful stuff. And it's stuff that you and I need to learn, we need to educate ourselves, and we need to spread the word. So if you've seen the show and you know what I'm talking about, I'm just gonna give you a little push. Go to jamieoliver.com right now and sign his petition. That's one thing that you can do. But here's the deal, and here's why I'm talking about this. Jamie's show, it represents Buck the System perfectly. It's about educating, it's about finding a different path, understanding what's going on in mainstream is not healthy. The food that we're eating, the food chain that is coming into America is bloated, it's unhealthy because it has had to grow so fast to produce mass quantities, high quantities of stuff for the growing population. So rather than being from the earth, all natural, organic, it's stuff with preservatives, stuff with high fructose corn syrup. It, it's stuff that can literally damage our bodies, cause cancer, and is causing us all to be fat. Simply put, it's causing us all to be fat. So in one breath, you may say, well, it's the, the fault of the food. There's nothing I can do about it. That's why I'm overweight. Uh-uh. You can take action of your own. You can take actions into your own hand by designing for action. Take control and stop letting the stuff of this world, this society, stop eating the way that everybody else does. Do it differently. That's what my challenge has been. I'm still working at it. And that's what I challenge you to do as well. Jamie Oliver, I commend you, brother. Your show is absolutely awesome and it's what America needs. The LA School District needs to get with it. Let you in, buck up, and hey, let you help change the culture of food in America. So I'd like to hear your comments. What do you think about Jamie Oliver's Food Revo Revolution show? Hey, if you've seen it, let me know what you think. If you see it, you don't like it, I'd like to hear that too. I'd love to get in a dialogue with you, good or bad, your viewpoint. So share your comments with me below. It's now time for our I Hate Guru segment. This is a segment in which I interview not gurus, but experts. And today I have a very, 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 very special guest. His name is Tom Scott. Now Tom is an absolute, I call him a master marketer. He's just a, he's become a friend of mine. We met several years, years ago at an event. He's also an event organizer. He works with small lo local businesses to uh, improve their traffic and lead generation and online presence. This guy is brilliant. And he's also a master networker. And so he is the mastermind behind Extreme Business Makeovers. This is an event that I spoke at, I had the privilege to speak at uh, several years ago. It's an event that I pop into uh, every year and it's, it's like a family. And this is an event that I recommend that you check out at extrembusinessmakeovers.com. Now here it is, Tom and I talk about personal networking and networking at events. So I think you're going to enjoy this. Watch this interview. 
All right, so Tom Scott, welcome to the Busyness TV show. Thanks so much for having me. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that you're, you're here with us. And the first question that I always ask all of my guests is, you're not really a guru, are you? <laughs> Absolutely not. In some rare cases, I'm someone who you can follow to the other side of where you want to go, but in oftentimes, I'm, a, I'm more the cautionary tale. So, <laughs> But I'll let you know what, what walls I hit my head against so it doesn't happen to you as That's well. That's good. So we know where to follow Absolutely. you and where to, where to ditch you. Absolutely. Okay, good, good. Well, it's not that I don't like gurus. I just don't like the word guru. So, mm -hmm. But we bring experts like yourself on. So glad to, have you, glad to have you on here. Thanks so much for being here. Awesome. Well, we want to talk a little bit about live you know, in-person networking. That's really what, what I'd like to focus on. And, you know, you're the mastermind behind Extreme Business Makeover and, and other events. And um, so, you know, first off, I'd like to say, you know, from an event perspective, how how did you get into doing live events? It, it actually came about. I've I've been a marketing mutt for over 23 years now, and worked with a lot of small businesses, corporations, and within the last six years, I started working more and more with speakers and authors. And so I got into that whole guru space. Yeah. Uh, yep. And. And in going to more and more events, um, I, I found that there were things I really loved about them and there were some things I really didn't like at all. And so I set out to create the event that I would want to go to. Awesome, awesome. What, how's it been the last few years? Has it been challenging with the events? Are, are you seeing attendance rise, fall, stay the same? Uh, well, we've had every single year it's been greater attendance. This is now the fifth annual Extreme Business Makeovers. Awesome. And so every year it's added, uh, which has been a very cool thing to see. Uh, but beyond that, it's been really neat to see the, the repeat people. Mm -hmm. Those that are there that kind of treat it like a, a family reunion every year that get together with people that have been in past conferences as well. Yeah, and I have to say, you know, I, I thank you before having the opportunity to speak at your event several years ago. And I'll tell you, it is like a family. That's one of the things that I absolutely love mm -hmm. about, you know, about, about networking. And, and so for me, when I started going to live events back in 2006 or 2007, it really changed my business. And do you see that also with your attendee, uh, attendees? Oh, absolutely. There's things that you get at a live event that you don't get. You know, I, I, my own personality style is I'd rather get something in the mail or online and watch at home right. in the comfort right. of my own home on demand. Yeah. That's just my personality type. Yeah. So I have to force myself actually to go out to events and to, mm -hmm. to do live networking myself. But I find that when I do, and the same thing is the, the case with all of my attendees, is when you go to an event, unlike you know when you when you face with a book or materials, it's like information overload. There's like so many things that you can yeah. apply. But at an event, there's something about hearing the speaker talk, and they're talking to you, and like one of the things they say, it's like it hits you in your heart, and you're like, okay, that's the thing I had to be in this particular session for. That's what I'm walking away from this with. And so there's that aspect. There's the aspect of Whenever you invest your time and resources into something, it gives you an extra impetus, a catalyst yeah. to move forward in a big way. So usually the, the people I've seen, when they come to a live event, that next three to six months is like killer time for them as far yeah. as making big, big progress. That's got to be really, really exciting from, as an event organizer to see that. In the end, you know, it's not about the, the bucks for the event or not, because there have been a couple of years that I haven't made a thing where I've lost a little bit on it. So that's not been the point. If, if I didn't have effect on people's lives and if people didn't uh, say, you know what, I, I can't wait for the next one, uh, this is what's happened with my business since the last one, if I didn't get those types of stories, I would just fold up and, and go home. There's no way I would do it. It's a whole, too much work for me. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> so I'm going to put you on the spot. As part of the busyness program, I teach what I call Action Unit. Mm -hmm. Action Unit is a 15-minute focused, dedicated, uninterrupted period of time where you're intending to produce a result and you're taking a very focused action to produce that result. Now when it comes to events, what is something that somebody can do whether it's in preparation to coming to an event or at an event, something that, that folks can do a tip that you can give them to, to maximize their their output or you know and their reward from attending. Can I give you two separate ones? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well at, at our event I actually have a, an action form that I create for people because I've seen that the biggest problem with events is people take pages and pages of notes, mm -hmm. then they get home and they put the notes up on the shelf. Right. And it, once again, it becomes an, an overwhelmed situation. So I give people a, a form that they use at Extreme Business Makeovers that helps them whittle down what they're getting as they go so that when they walk away, they've got the three things they're doing over the next month yep. that will, will help them progress forward. So that's one thing is to Love narrow it. your focus and to look for those things. Instead of trying to get all the information, get those few things that you know will make your business move forward. I love it. In preparation for the event. Hold on. Yep. Hold on, I'm going to stop you right there. Okay. Because the next one we're going to save for the unbusy secrets portion. Okay, so. <laughs> Tune gonna, in. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, we're going we're to save that because that's what we're going to cover in unbusy secrets in where I really peel back Tom's brain here and figure out exactly how you can leverage live networking events to, to your advantage and, and really make them worth your time and your investment. 
So, but first I want to, as we wrap up here, I really want to talk about your Extreme Business Makeover event. Now you have an event coming up in a couple weeks. Yes, April right. 29th through May 1st in Orlando, Florida at the Grebe Royale Hotel. Awesome, and I'll be there and lots, lots of the family members that have attended before and, and I'm sure a lot of new new faces as well. So absolutely. It, it's absolutely awesome. Where, where can somebody go to uh, find out more information about that? Go to www.extrembusinessmakeovers.com. Awesome, awesome. So extrembusinessmakeovers.com. Now, again, on Busy Secrets, come join us there to watch the, the next 25 to 30 minute interview here with, with Tom to really peel back and, and dive into some, some fun stuff. So, Tom, thanks for being here. Thanks and, for having uh, me. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll see you guys behind on Busy Secrets. Take care. So, welcome back. I hope that you enjoyed that interview with Tom Scott. As you can see, he's very, very knowledgeable in the area of personal networking, amongst other things. But what I'd like to offer you right now is an opportunity because to hear more. That was a little snippet. We then went on for another almost 40 minutes to really dive in and peel back the onion about how you leverage personal networking and events, how you uh, pick out the right events, how you maximize your time when you're interacting with folks, not in an online world, but in an offline world, right? Very, very powerful stuff. And I want to introduce to you right now Unbusy Secrets. It's our, it's our Unbusy Secrets program where you can get access right now to that interview by Tom and two more interviews just like that of 20 to 40 minutes in length per month. So check it out right now. Uh, the link be is below for Unbusy Secrets. I'd love to have you join us uh, in that program. You get lots of lots of other benefits such as Busyness Live and getting to uh, work with me directly on some real cool endeavors. So check out our Unbusy Secrets program. And if you have comments about Tom's interview, scroll down and enter them below. I'd love to hear from you. It's now time for our Productivity Sucks segment. This is a segment in which I take a look at websites, software, applications, and tool sets that help your productivity to not suck. As part of the business platform, right, we're managing actions. Or in other words, we're managing tasks. Now, a very popular program that I use right now as well, for some instances, for some purposes, is Remember the Milk. So watch this and take a look at the advantages and some of the features that Remember the Milk can bring you. Now today I'd like to take a look at a website, a task management website called Remember the Milk. A very cute name, very fun name, but let's cut to the chase here. This website allows you to manage your tasks from anywhere just as it says there and you can sign up for a free account or pay a minimal right now I believe it's $25 for a pro account for a year but remember the milk allows you to manage your tasks to record your tasks to get at them from anywhere whether it's a website your iPhone your Android your Blackberry your Google Calendar a Gmail gadget, Twitter, even with Microsoft Outlook integration. So this is an awesome, awesome tool that you're going to want to take a peek at for your own use. Now, if you look at the inside here, you'll see that there is an inbox and some other groups, a personal group, study, work. Uh, you can create different groups. You can invite people, contacts inside of your account and add a new task. So simply to add a task here, uh, you can go ahead and type in, we'll put watch the busyness TV show and use the little smart tags here. You see some awesome smart tags here, uh, due dates, priority, uh, listen tags, location. You can read through those yourself, but let's put the little carrot in here and say that you need to watch it on Thursday because that's when the next episode comes up and it is a priority with an exclamation point, priority of three. And so it looks funky right there, but as soon as you hit enter and add that task, you can see there, watch the busyness TV show for Thursday is the task uh, Then it was added. You can also use some very cool things like uh, track your tasks offline. You can do that by installing a, a Google gadget, Gears gadget. Uh, you can look at locations of where you're at, where tasks are assigned and such, all of your contacts. And the way that this works with your tasks is that it, it really assigns your task to an inbox, just like it was an email inbox, 
right? So as I say here, inbox is just like your email inbox, except that instead of emails, you, you receive tasks. So other folks can send tasks to you. Other contacts can send task, tasks to you. They can share tasks with you so that you can see them and work on them jointly and both update them. You can also email tasks or add them via Twitter, via your, your phones and such. So remember the milk is an awesome thing here. If you, if you remember, if you think about it, if you share something, let's say you share something with your wife and you have a, a list about groceries, very easy to create a grocery list here that is seen by you and your wife or you and your husband uh, and so forth. So very creative things you can do with Remember the Milk. So check it out. Create your free account at RememberTheMilk.com. Now, if you enjoyed this episode of Productivity Sucks, I'd like to remind you to come visit us at busyness.com. At busyness.com, you can access many more Productivity Sucks episodes just like this one that will help your productivity to not suck. I'm Dr. Brad Semp, and look forward to seeing you again on another Productivity Sucks episode as well as the Busyness TV show at busyness.com. Welcome back. I hope that you enjoyed that segment of Productivity Sucks. Remember the milk. And as you can see, lots of stuff that you can do with task management and keep your task in line, both at, if you're at your computer or if you're on the go, via whatever smartphone technology that you have. So check out RememberTheMilk.com. If you like that Productivity Sucks segment, we have many, many more just like it. By vis and you can find them by visiting Busyness.com and looking for the Productivity Sucks icon. Check out those other episodes. Leave comments. Let me know what you think about the episodes, whether you like them, don't like them, or whatever you'd like to say. I'd like to engage with you. That wraps up our show for today, the Business TV show. And I hope that you enjoyed episode 16 and all of the different segments. I hope that you left some comments to engage with me. I'll be watching for those and look forward to speaking with you. And I wanted to remind you to get registered, if you're not already, to receive notifications of new Busyness TV show episodes when they are released each and every Thursday. You can do so by visiting busyness.com and subscribing via email or going to iTunes to subscribe to receive our video podcast. Also, don't forget to like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash busyness TV. You can also find us at Twitter at busyness TV. I'm Dr. Brad Semp. I'd like to thank you and remind you to unbusy yourself, and we'll see you back here next week. Take care. Bye-bye.